Hello and welcome to the funkiest hotel in Bethlehem. That's called the Walled Off Hotel. And that's because the hotel is over here, but just here by the side is the notorious wall that separates Israel from the Palestinian territories. So this is a very punchy location. Now, it looks just like a funky hotel from the outside, right? But it isn't. The whole thing, all of it, is an artwork by the notorious Banksy. And if you think the outside is extraordinary, wait till you see the inside. It's like walking into the set of Casablanca. Any minute now, you expect someone to start playing the piano. But the big difference is, you know, any hotel you go to, there's always art on the walls. It's usually some abstract paintings or something non-offensive that won't annoy anybody. Well, that's not true here, because all the art on the walls in here is by Banksy. So let's have a look at some of it. Now, because this is Bethlehem, you have to have some reference here to the nativity and the birth of the baby Jesus. So it's a kind of Banksy crib above the fireplace, uh, except that it's not called the Star of Bethlehem, as these things usually are. It's called the Scar of Bethlehem. And what it actually is, is the wall, the one we just saw outside in the background with a great big cannon hole in the middle of it and the birth of the baby Jesus taking place underneath. So everything here subverts the country house look, if you like. Uh, normally in a place like this, you'd get the heads of all the animals that the owner has shot hung up on the wall, the trophies. But this time, all the trophies in very Banksy style are surveillance cameras. Loads and loads of surveillance cameras. And here's a sad little thing, look at that. The Dove of Peace, locked up in a cage. Great big Banksy artwork down in the foyer. Huge heart carved into something that looks suspiciously like the wall outside. And of course, written on it in Banksy style again, sarcastically, super sarcastically, is the word peace in Latin. I like these angels above the piano. Something terrible's happened to them and the gas masks have fallen down so they can breathe. Typical Banksy. I like this place so much, I've decided I'm gonna try and stay. Hello, uh, can I have a room? Yes, of course, you can have the presidential suite. The presidential suite, that sounds just like for me. Thank you very much. I like this. Not reception but rejection. Is there a key? The presidential suite. Thank you very much. They said the door to the room was over here somewhere, but I can't see it. All I can see is some kind of library. <laughs> ah, it's a secret entrance. This whole place is like a cross between the hotel in Casablanca and something from Scooby-Doo. So all the rooms have different themes. There's a ghost room full of ghostly Banksies. There's just a room called the Banksy room, which is just Banksy. And here's my room, the presidential suite. You tell it's the presidential suite because it's got a picture of the president outside. I think if someone like Saddam Hussein was ever looking for a room in Bethlehem, he'd probably choose this one. I mean, look at the bath. It's the size of a small Olympic swimming pool. It's even got its very own built-in water feature. Made from an old water tower that someone's been firing guns at. So the water comes out the bullet holes. And this is your very own study, where you can write stuff with a beautiful scenic view of the wall. 
In some posh hotel rooms, you get a four-poster bed, but in this one, you get your very own tent, big enough for several sultans. And if after a hard day's tourism, you have to relax and recline a bit on this wonderful and expansive zebra skin super sofa, look what you've got above you, courtesy of Banksy. It's a gang of ravenous leopards, chained up and ready to eat you. Ah, thank you very much, Judah. I really enjoyed my stay. Had some really great fun in there. Everywhere you look, strange little things surprise you. So if you're coming to Bethlehem, unquestionably the place to stay is the Waldorf Hotel. But you know, as soon as you come out, look in front of you, and you see this, you know that in typical Banksy fashion, there are serious things being said here.